Netflix. The ban on TikTok expanded today on the same day the Chinese-owned video sharing app was blocked from devices issued by the federal government. CTV's Kevin Gallagher on which jurisdictions are joining the list and Beijing's response. Jugmeet Singh has used TikTok to reach younger voters. Now the NDP leader is taking a pause from the Chinese-owned app. I have no concern at all about taking a step back from a social media platform when there are serious concerns around security, around data and privacy. Starting Friday, any politicians and staff using devices managed by the House of Commons will be barred from TikTok, in line with the ban on all federal government phones that went into effect today. This is yet another demonstration of the government's vigilance uh, when it comes to any potential threats uh, that may be posed uh, by foreign interference or uh, any other risks to our cyber platforms and our critical infrastructure. The federal government is concerned about how the popular video sharing app harvests data off phones, including contacts, search habits, and location. Under China's national security laws, TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, could then be compelled to turn over user information. If you are a China-based company, you have to give up data uh, you know, whenever the government wants it. The Nova Scotia, Quebec and Alberta governments will also ban the app, while Newfoundland, Ontario and Saskatchewan are considering it. Are we going to start to see some shift away from TikTok as, as some users maybe become uh, concerned about the use of their data? And in the U.S., federal employees now have less than a month to remove TikTok from all government devices. An abuse of state power, according to this Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson, who called on the U.S to respect fair competition. Canada's strained relationship with China has TikTok questioning the timing of Ottawa's ban as the social media company insists it has not shared user data with Beijing. Omar? Kevin, thank you.